A very different alarm system has been created by certain acacias. And we're not referring to thorns. Of course, a barbed wire fence is a forceful protection system, and more so when the barb measures almost 10 centimeters. But the tongue and the digestive system of giraffes and certain other herbivores are able to handle those spikes quite well. The proof is that this herd is having a real feast. But this feast is a race against the clock. The acacias are going to trigger an exceptional alarm system among living beings. All plants have some kind of poison, especially in the form of tannin, and the taste of these compounds is usually very bitter. It announces the presence of harmful toxic substances to whoever is chewing the leaves. But the acacias have gone one step further to protect themselves. In the face of a strong attack, they communicate among themselves through a silent alarm system. These secret codes supply the system, and the plant massively increases its poison production. When the leaves are cut or bitten, chemical substances are given off, which the air spreads around quickly. The message is received by the plant being attacked and by the entire neighborhood. The more serious the attack is, the more tannin that is produced. Each individual tree elevates the concentration of poison within it by several degrees, and it's just a matter of minutes before the small forest reaches a high degree of toxicity. The herbivores then perceive the highly bitter taste in their mouths, and they feel forced to leave the area. When the robbers are aware that their booty is a trap, and that the entire neighborhood has been warned, they're only left with one option, to get out. From personal experience, defenseless plant lice know how useful a bodyguard is. That's why they pay highly for this service. By providing the ants with a very nutritious sugary liquid, in return they obtain the security of having bodyguards and escorts at their disposal. At the slightest sign of danger, the ants will react like a man defending his protege. But only due to self-interest, of course. Ants are mercenaries. The sense of duty is man's prerogative. Ants have become such a well-organized allied army that some plants have decided to hire their services so that they're not devoured by insects, as well as to avoid being invaded by more aggressive plants. This type of acacia in Costa Rica is known as the cornisuelo, or bullhorn acacia. It's evolved parallel to a species of ants. It's one of the best symbiotic relationships known today. In return for their protection, the plant provides its bodyguards with room and board. Its strong thorns are hollow, which is where the ants live. They also use the thorns to store their food and to breed their offspring, and they use them as their bedrooms. It's an atypical anthill, in which the different sections are independent rooms connected not by tunnels, but by the tree's branches. This immense labyrinth is conveniently marked by pheromones, in a way that each ant can recognize its path and go where its work takes it. The tree thorns are also a good defense, which means that the ants are also protected by their client. You watch my back and I'll watch yours, as the saying goes. But the ants live on the acacia especially for their payment, or better yet, the food. The tree secretes a liquid for the ants. These tiny springs are equally distributed among the branches. The ants can drink from them to obtain the calories they need to survive. 
The care offered by the acacia is such that the ants do not need to look for any other resources. They never leave the tree. In certain periods, the plant produces a kind of pill rich in proteins at the tip of the leaves, which completes the nutritional needs of the entire colony, including the queen and the larvae. These prepared food packs are very similar to the modern energy bars eaten by humans, which include an adequate proportion of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The question is that the guardian who protects the tree doesn't leave his post, not even to eat. What happens is that anyone who dares to approach the acacia is dangerously attacked because this species of ant also has a very strong poison. Surprisingly, we discovered a worm peacefully strolling among the ants. Even in the middle of this fury caused by another insect, they didn't seem to notice it. The ants didn't detect the worm, and if they came into contact with it, they quickly became immobilized. Its protective shield must be like a chemical costume, but this kind of invention is not within a human being's reach. Most human security services include security cameras. Having visual control of the surrounding area is the key to reliable protection, which is why this shrimp of the Alpheus genus hires its goby. The crustacean can't see on its own. Its eyes are too small, they're not functional. But without a doubt, this leaves room in its brain for other more necessary functions for life. But even though it can't see, it's not easy prey. It solved the problem by searching for protection that completely covers its needs. The fish acts as its guide. The habits of this shrimp don't include frequently moving around and being exposed to the dangers of the reef. And if it weren't absolutely necessary, it would never leave its home. The ownership of the home belongs to the shrimp. In fact, the shrimp builds the galleries that make up its shelter. And if the sea current destroys it, it's also in charge of rebuilding the home. It's well prepared for this. The nearby goby passively watches the construction of the home. Its contract clearly establishes what's expected of it and working with its hands is not included. Once the home is finished, both species enjoy it. The shrimp always keeps its long antennae in contact with the fish in such a way that if the fish detects a threat, it alerts its shrimp companion. When the goby goes out in search of food, the shrimp takes refuge in the deepest part of the cave and only when the eyes of the goby have retaken the lookout position does the shrimp come out to enjoy the remains of the food that the goby has brought. We were able to verify the success of this method. When a predator like this grouper attacks, no one is taken by surprise, and once hidden in the twists and turns of the small cave, they're safe.